Good morning and thanks for waking up with us here on Good Day Virginia. I'm Brandon Van Sickle. Your time right now is 530 and we're going to get started this half hour with the latest on the election. Vice President Kamala Harris is leading former President Donald Trump in three battleground states. That's according to the latest polls from The New York Times and Siena College. They show Harris ahead of Trump by four percentage points. 50% of likely voters in Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Michigan said that they support the current vice president, while 46% say that they support the former president. The polls were conducted this week. Is there such a thing as campaign trail plagiarism? The Trump campaign seems to think so. The former president taking uh, to social media after Vice President Kamala Harris promoted ending taxes on tips during a rally in Las Vegas on Saturday, a policy that Trump had suggested himself more than two months ago. Madeline Rivera has more on the new feud. In a rare moment, Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Trump are supporting the same policy as they try to win over service workers. Harris's pledge in her Las Vegas rally came a day after the Culinary Union endorsed her. And it is my promise to everyone here, when I am president, we will continue our fight for working families of America, including to raise the minimum wage and eliminate taxes on tips for service and hospitality workers. Former President Trump quickly released a barrage of attacks on Truth Social, saying Kamala has no imagination whatsoever, as shown by the fact that she played copycat with no taxes on tips. On another post, he writes in part, how long will it be before Kamala Harris comes out with another Trump policy? Trump supports ending taxes on tips, even though the idea has gotten mixed reactions from Republicans. This is the first time I've said this, and for those hotel workers and people that get tips, you're going to be very happy. Because when I get to office, we are going to not charge taxes on tips, people making tips. Nearly one in five employees work in leisure and hospitality in Nevada, a powerful coalition in a state deemed as a toss-up by Fox News power rankings. Banning tips from taxes requires congressional approval. Harris's team says it would work with Congress on a proposal that comes with a, quote, income limit and with strict requirements to prevent hedge fund managers and lawyers from structuring their compensation in ways to try to take advantage of the policy, unquote. Besides accusing Harris of stealing their policy proposal, the Trump campaign also says it's a victim of a hacking operation after some of their internal documents were emailed to Politico. The campaign suggests that Ron is to blame. We've reached out to the FBI for comment. In Washington, Mather of Era, Fox News. In the meantime, mass deportations appear to be the new focus of the Trump campaign. Former President Donald Trump has said that he would deport millions of people if he retakes the White House. The stance pushes Republicans toward a more aggressive strategy on immigration compared to focusing on border security. The southern border saw a historic number of crossings during the Biden administration. During a rally this weekend, Vice President Harris said that she would sign a bipartisan order security bill into law, which she blames Trump for killing earlier this year.